Hello everyone, now today we're going to be talking about monitoring your Kafka streams with a tool that we like to use called Lenses. Now if you're not familiar with Lenses, don't worry. All you need to know for the time being is that Lenses provides a great big lens onto your Apache Kafka environment. So if you touch on Kafka, Lenses is there to make your job of monitoring, monitoring and developing on Kafka so much easier. So let's take a quick look at monitoring your Kafka streams. So maybe you're an ops or you're a developer developing some microservices or you're a data engineer building some data pipelines. If you're using Apache Kafka, you're probably going to want to know what's going on across your Kafka streams. So here I'm going to show you very quickly how you can monitor those streams in real time. Now I'll leave it to other demos to show you some of the other features of lenses, but for the time being, I just want to show you how I can see a high level view of my data pipelines. So here I have my Kafka streams mapped in a topology view. For example, I have a payments microservice application with a way of having a quick view of its data throughput. Now it seems that this app is producing uh, onto a payments topic, but that topic is not being consumed by anything, neither an application or a connector. Now we might want to explore some of the data in this topic, and I can either drill down or do this from the topic section here. And here I have a high level view of all the different topics across my cluster, how many partition each one has, its message formats, total number of events in each topic. But what really interests me is that payments topic that I saw we were publishing to earlier. Now we're looking at the content of each message within the topic itself. Lenses has deserialized that data, which allows us to present the data as or within a table. And then if you want to navigate, you can set a particular partition or a partition offset using the slider here. Or if you have a timestamp, can jump to a specific point using that timestamp slider too. If you're familiar with SQL and it's a big part of lenses which we won't cover here, you can add SQL statements to filter and navigate through that data as well but I'll leave that for another demo. And whilst we're looking at the topics, an important feature is looking at the distribution of data across your different partitions. So here I see I have a number of different partitions, they're fairly well distributed, you could say partition 2 is slightly larger than the other three. Okay, so that's the first bit. But if there's one thing that we know about Apache Kafka is it can grow very quickly. Different applications, data pipelines, teams can be onboarded. And it's difficult to have visibility on that until things go wrong. So let's fast forward a bit and see how the environment has changed a couple of weeks later. So now I can see my environment has changed. I still have my payments application publishing to that payments topic that I was looking at earlier. But now my developers have developed a payments processing microservice application, which is publishing to two different topics, looking at fraudulent transactions. Now this visibility is great because now I know I have a critical data pipeline. Let's inspect the Kafka consumer groups of this pipeline. I can do this from the consumer section of lenses where I can see all the groups. I see the lag for each group, and although some of them are high, the one I'm really interested in, the payments processing application is not so bad. But let's take a deep look inside. So here I see three instances of that payments microservice in the consume group where each of their respective lag and which partitions they're reading from. Now this is really valuable if you want to know how to scale up or scale down your application or if your app is suffering from poor performance and you want to check the health of each instance. Now from this view everything looks healthy. But what do you think would happen if I were to shut down two of the instances of my microservice and just leave one behind in the consumer group to process from the four partitions? Well let's take a look. So back in the consumer group section, I can now see my overall lag is really high for that payments group. By drilling down, I can see confirmation that there's only one active member in the consumer group and the lag is so high because of the bandwidth needed for that one member to be able to read from all four partitions. Now I know I don't have enough scale in that one instance and I need to get the ops guys to spin up more instances. Easy, right? Okay, that was just a fraction of what you can do with lenses and how it can make the job of managing, monitoring and developing on Kafka so much easier. I'll be publishing more videos and tips every week on Kafka and lenses. Be sure to follow us on LinkedIn, details below, or you can follow me on Twitter at LeMasterGee, or you can send us a message directly uh, at thedatadifference.net, fill out the form. In the meantime, thanks for watching and bonjour.